Hello again. We go on with this Khmer game, very tough game, which we're trying to get a religious victory. It is uh, not being easy at all. So I'm thinking about this attack on Melbourne, and it's going to be difficult, but I think we pretty much have to do it. Doesn't look like we have a lot of options here. We only have, um, I think, eight cities. One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight cities. Seventy-two faith per turn, and um, we still have one holy side to make around here. Uh, if you add that to you know doing holy side prayers all the time, I guess we could get to one hundred per turn. I don't think that would be enough to change the religion in, in the whole continent that I have left to to investigate. So I'm going to need a little bit more. I think if I get Melbourne and Sydney we might we might have just enough. Um ideally I want obviously Rockhampton because it has a holy side but it's doesn't look like very easy to attack. Now, Melbourne used to have a uh, crossbow army, but the thing is, John Curtin is right now at war with Japan. As far as we know, he could stay at war with Japan for a while. Probably not, because the AI, when I attack them, they always make peace with their enemy and focus on me, but maybe they stay at war with Japan for a while, they lose a few units. Mm-hmm. Yep, 585. And this guy has 476, so they are already, uh, we are already stronger than them. And uh, I think we might have a chance. So, yeah, I have all my units on this side. So I'm going for Melbourne, then from Melbourne it should be easy to go south and take Sydney. I might, if I can, if it's not too late, I might go on with the war, try to take Rockhampton and try to get Buenos Aires on the peace treaty <coughs> in order to liberate it. It's a pretty good city state. Um, yeah, when with ten or, or eleven cities, I think this might get easier. Okay, so that's the plan. Oh, wait a second. Am I? Yeah. Sorry for a second. I, I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> that would have been a problem. Um, yeah. So, what's this guy doing? So we have one guy that is going to, one elephant is going to be here. And the other elephant should be here. So we're going to go there. Okay, let me see, this is, this is plains. Desert. Flood plains. Okay, if the elephant can get here in one move, I will leave him there. Okay, I need to prepare this properly. Let's move this guy over there. Material room should come over here. Okay, let's move those guys. Is there anything I can purchase here with the money I have? Not right now. I could upgrade this chariot and I will. Okay. I will have uh, um, 13 gold per turn from Frederick for 27 turns. That's pretty nice. Um, he's moving the cavalry over here. That's fine. I could I could do some damage with, um, with the crossbows. We have some very upgraded crossbows, so that's economy, nice. However, the individual has some possibility of escaping from the power of the state. Okay, so let's let's take a look at this for a moment. Plus a moment in friendly territory. This is not too awful actually. We want to do more cavalry. I might want to do more knights. This could be nice. That being said though, I really want the money. So let's go with this. Plus four gold and plus one faith from every trade route. And that's another six faith points. Do 
Do we want ancient walls here just in case Egypt gets any funny ideas? I think the answer might be yes. What do I get um, with the aqueduct? I know I never do aqueducts, but I, I remember we had good stuff with them. I keep forgetting. Uh, plus three faith and plus one amenity. And farms provide plus two if adjacent to an aqueduct. So that's interesting. Apparently, I can only put it here. Okay, so I'm not going to do it, um, even though it gives more food to the farm, because I'm going to lose a lot of production if I do that. Uh, no. Mont Saint Michel. I could totally work on it. You know what? I will try to get Mont Saint Michel. Not because I like the martyr ability, I hate it. But just because I get it for free from Mont Saint Michel, that means the game will let me choose something else every single time. And that is pretty good. Okay, here I could we could get a farm triangle on these tiles, maybe. Or even a mine over there. We have a lot of stuff to chop. Yeah, we have a lot to develop in this land. We we had so many wars. I really couldn't uh, work on developing anything. Okay, you go here, you go there and wait a second. You go here and wait a second, I need to organize my troops. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I want this to go to Melbourne. I could do it all the way to Buenos Aires. What is going on? Melbourne is not taking me, taking any religion from me, so I'm going to do that one. That way we can get there a little bit faster when we attack. Okay, this guy stays there. Okay, so what are we going to convert now? We want to convert Germany, that's what we want. We want to convert Heidelberg. So, let's move a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, and then, yeah, we are not going to launch in Kiswish. Ooh, this is very nice. So this guy has to, he's a translator, so he has to convert other civilizations, which is fine because my own cities are all pretty much done except for mains. Okay. Do I want to send one guy to Egypt? I should start working on that, I guess. I guess the answer is yes. Yep, another translator, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We wait. Yeah, the army they had here of, of crossbows seems to be gone. Australia denounced Egypt. I'm pretty happy that they hate everybody. What is this? Brazil. Okay. Whatever. These guys are friends with some weird unmet player that somehow didn't meet me. We have barbarians here. Okay, I hope they don't try to pillage my harbor. That would be annoying. Okay, let me think about this. Where is this guy? Coming here, you will wait there, wait here, wait here. Translator, right? Yeah. So the translator goes here because we have a road. And this translator goes 
all the way there. Okay, I could have built another city here. We could get the salt. It wouldn't be a terrible city, but I don't have time to expand peacefully on turn 174. So it's not gonna happen. And its cities are already developed. Also, the pyramids will become very handy when I have to improve so much land. Ooh, the Big Ben. Interesting. Where do you have it? I really like the Big Ben. I really like building it. Yeah, this guy had much more river than I did. Anyway, I'm not seeing it. What is this? Commercial hub. Okay, nice. We have Petra in Melbourne. Ah, uh, combined with this salt desert, it could be nice. Okay, yeah, we have we have some decent stuff here. I need to take it. I need to take it all. Okay, so that's fine. Let me see. We have one night here, one night there. Okay. Spreads three. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, let's uh, let's send you here. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Maybe I should have upgraded. Okay. Anyway, we have one night here. Martin Rum is coming. What's coming? Oh, we have another night over here. You know what? I'm going to do this. I think that works better. Okay. Mm -hmm. It would take two turns to get here, so let's go over there instead. You move in closer. All right, you move into the road. You go here. I hope there are no barbarians. I don't see any incumbents. I mean, any any outposts. So I'm going to assume there are no barbarians over there. Okay, we have we have a cavalry here, an Australian cavalry there. That is very useful because maybe he tries to attack one of my cities and I can use my bombardment. So it could be nice. Okay, no, he went back. Okay, that's fine. I can purchase another apostle, which I totally will do. Yep, that's gonna happen. I'm tempted to do ancient walls here just in case. Let's get a scout first to send to the other continent and then we're going to do that. Here we need a mosque, but um, I'm wondering if I don't need units instead. Like in our crossbow, for example. So I don't have to waste money upgrading the archers, you know what I mean? Um, no, let's let's go mosque first. Fuck it. <laughs> let's just check our priorities. Oh, this guy wanted to do Mont Saint Michel. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, next turn. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one good. This guy could get here in one turn, absolutely. But he will wait because I want this guy to get there first. Yep, 
Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy really should not be here because he's going to get bombarded. So we're not going to do that. And there you go. Is a tile belonging to this city? Yeah. And I could chop this one and build another mine. Okay. Wait. It's such a shame that Hong Kong lost that war. But really, it's, you know, that a bunch of city states are just going to disappear very early in the game. That's, that's just how the game works. We shouldn't be surprised at this point, really. Okay, you wait here. And my apostle here really needs to be next to the natural wonder, this guy, so he can gain the extra spreads. And then he's going to go to mains because this guy does not have the translator promotion, so he's the right guy to upgrade, uh, to convert my city. Wait there, I have to press, I should have another couple of them. Apostle is available for promotion. Are we going to Egypt? Um, yeah, I think the answer is going to be yes, but I'm going to go through the south instead. Yeah, this one. Neither of those are particularly good for me right now. Workshop, so we can get the, um, the thing for industrialization. Yeah, absolutely. Three workshops. Okay, you can get a shipyard, can get anything else, or you can go for a wonder. This is extremely risky, obviously. I could just lose it, and it's not even a great wonder to begin with. But. I want to take a look to see if I can get it. Okay, holy side. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, let's just wait. No, is this a river tile? No, this one is okay. I'm going to get the river tile instead of the adjacency bonus. Um, what's the deal with this place? Is it growing or what? Eight turns until it grows. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Mm. Okay, we can wait. What is this? Digger, um, what are we talking about here? Infantry. Okay, he's not going to find a neutral foreign territory, but infantry is already super good against knights, so I really need to get cores at least. This is not going to happen, and this is also not going to happen right now. Okay, so uh, should we get there already? Okay, next turn. We will attack. Okay. This guy's gonna be here. Right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to promise anything to you because you're you're I completely destroyed your ass. So if you want to declare war on me I will just take the two cities you have left. Um yeah. This is pillage by the way. So I cannot even produce enough faith to stop me. Ooh, yeah. 
Australia is still at war with Japan. That's good news for me. I wonder who the hell is the other civilization that I completely forgot to try to find. Hermitage, yeah, that's irrelevant. Anyway, um, Japan has pillaged an enemy mine with an AT crew. Small ones and large ones. The small ones will go away by themselves. And the large so that's interesting. If Japan is pillaging stuff from Australia, it might mean they are winning the war, which is very good for me. How much production do you have here? 19. Um, mm -hmm. Can we get more mines? Apparently not, but we have a lot of stuff to chop, so let's chop some shit over here. Okay, uh, time to attack. So, hey you, how are you doing? Yeah, 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 that's it. Press Lab and Kabul. Oh, Kabut could be annoying over here. Preslav is obviously irrelevant. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking whether is there anything useful here, but apparently not. Okay, so... Um, We don't need so much money actually, we could get out of this one and go back to the two influence per turn. Yeah, we have already promoted pretty much everything. So this guy goes here and attacks the city, right? Oh, minus five, that's uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, this is not going to work at all. It's way too late for these guys. Way too late. Um, why can't I attack here? Because the game is fucking with me, that's why. Um, okay, so for some reason this guy can attack the city. I, have, I honestly have no idea why. Uh, you go here, you go there. I don't, I don't know if the battery ram is useful anymore made of solid by civil engineering which they almost certainly have by now so I'm absolutely going to get my ass kicked in a very spectacular way well that's a problem uh, okay so what should I do at this point? Okay, in 10 turns I will have to make peace. There is no way I can get an Australian city anymore at this point. They're just too far ahead because, well, you have seen this game. It's obvious that they're going to be too far ahead for me to do anything. Um, so what can I do? Declare war on Germany again and take Heidelberg. I guess that's that's my best move. They have a river side, a holy side, which is pretty good for me. I could fix this stuff, I guess. Everything is pillage, but I am pretty sure I can fix it. And Axburg is building what? A holy site, so I could maybe also take it and get 10 cities away. And try to win the game with 10 cities. I guess that's acceptable. This guy will get his ass kicked, but maybe he survives. Uh -huh, this guy will replace the first one to die. and. Same here. Okay. This guy still has to spread, so I don't know. I don't know if this worked or not. I think it didn't work. I think it got bugged or something. Um, because this is clearly a natural wonder. So yeah, because I wasn't unlucky enough on this game. I guess I needed the bug as well. Anyway, mm -hmm. 
if converting CD for the first time. Okay, so let's do that. Who can I go after that? Gunpowder. I do have a lot of these guys, so I guess after industrialization I can go there and try to get upgrade them to field cannons to make sure I don't get invaded by anyone. Okay, cool. All right, that works. Oh, hello, Gandhi. I would love to sample. Oh, you're right there. I could have done this with anything, basically, ages ago. Uh, how are you doing? You don't hate me yet. You do have a certain number of cities. It's gonna take me forever to convert so many people. I should have played with a small map instead of a standard map. I forgot about that. Uh, religious games take forever on a on anything other than a small map. I did not think about it properly. Okay, so he already hates me. Which uh, makes sense, I guess. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, there's no way in hell I can take this city. Right? Like. Yeah, because a battery ram is not useful anymore. Okay, so retreat and. Um, I don't know what to tell you, these units are not useful, so let's leave them. Maybe they're useful against Germany? I don't know. Probably not. So I will do nothing for 10 turns and then I will make peace, because there isn't the slightest chance I can do anything against uh, Australia. They are too far ahead of me. And yeah, I will have to take Heidelberg, they have a Riverside uh, Holy Site, so it's the only way I can increase my uh, faith generation. So let's start by fixing all this shit and then... Ooh, look at that. She already has seven there somehow. No, 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 all of this is irrelevant. I need to find a religious city state, honestly, this is getting very stupid. Um, oh, we can pillage some stuff, so let's do that. We can get a road between Hamburg and, wait a second, is it there already? No. So we can totally get a road between Hamburg and Mainz. Mainz, Mainz, Mainz. There you are. Yep, let's communicate our cities. Mm, what can we pillage? What is this? 
Outlook Station. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't use my elephants at all. That was a shame. Um, but anyway, it looks like they're better than a catapult. I think they would be decent if you use them in a real game. And by a real game, I mean one in which you just go to war all game long, which is the proper way to play this game. Uh, forgetting about you know founding religions and shit like that. Okay, so there we go. Religious victory. Uh, apparently Germany is not so Germany is not Zoroastrian yet for some reason. Even though the major cities Zoroastrian they only have two. Anyway, whatever. Go there, give me production for that wonder. I'm not going to get it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose a lot of production, but uh, I have to try, I guess. I can go to Granada, I will go to Granada actually. That's a pretty good trade route. Let's chop this. Let's go here. And this. Cool. We can get neck and next. I simply don't have enough faith. Uh, to convert the whole map, it's uh, it's a standard size map, uh, so this is not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, whatever. there let's keep doing some damage what did we finish here library and university well that's fine let's do that now cool yeah move this guy here I guess that makes sense Yeah, I think that campus is the only thing I can pillage without getting bombarded. At least on this side of the map. What can you do? What can you do, my friend? Industrial zone somewhere. Adjacent mines, adjacent quarry. I guess that makes sense. Will affect Dortmund and Heidelberg, and I need another one around here for Mainz and Aachen. Maybe even Berlin. I mean, if I put it here, it affects all three, so that's a good spot. This guy has to heal. This guy can wait. This battery in RAM. I'm going to move it over here. Don't rain. Same shit. This guy can heal. Can I pillage something around Rockhampton? Maybe I can. I will try. Uh, you can go to. Okay, I can get plus three production with internal trade routes. 
racket that gives me a lot of money and plus two Okay, let's do this one. So what am I getting from theocracy? Blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay, so that's all good. Twelve turns from Monson Michel, who knows? Maybe I get it after all. Which is weird. I pretty much never get that wonder. Oh, what are you doing, Australia, with this fella here, this digger? Oh, we have this. Such an interesting choice. Ancient walls in nine. I would have to do that. Oh, come on! Else. Who the fuck plundered? What? There is no Australian city in here. What the fuck happened there? <laughs> okay, there is a settler here and a pikeman. How the hell did that happen? I don't know, but uh, as you can imagine, I will find out. But I will not find out, I will just take advantage of it. Yeah, you go all the way there. We want this settler, obviously. Our oh, barbarians have pillaged that shit. Okay. Well, that's fine. I didn't have enough trouble, I guess, with with the yeah, being far ahead of me in in every single aspect of the game. So I guess I need the barbarians annoying me as well. Do I let this guy die? I think the answer is yes. I'm going to let this guy die. I'm pillaging everything which is useful and then the guy who kills him might die next turn. So that could be useful. More or less, you know. This fella has a promotion, avail promotion available. Let's go over here, over there. Mm, this theological combat, huh? Hmm, I should go with, to another continent with this guy. But I will only do it when he has one charge left. Could do from triangle over here, I guess it makes sense. Eventually. Oh, you know what I could do first? Lumber mill up here. This guy is a translator. Okay, let's work with size here. Yep. I could move inside the continent first actually to see what's in that part of the map. Okay, we got three Egyptian cities already. We are working. This guy got a good time. Mm -hmm. And we got another luxury. Okay. So this guy is going to die and I wonder if this guy is going to survive. Okay, so Indonesia keeps bringing people here. That's a pain. Whoa, I'm getting my ass so kicked. I should not have declared war on Australia. They have, I mean, look at their power, okay? Like, their power score is 476, which is less than what I have. And they are at war with Japan. 
but somehow they have these four units here. How is that happening? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, um, let's try to use these guys, I guess. Pretty much have to do that. Oh, there's a fucking privateer here. That's also a lot of fun. Okay, let's see if we can get a free settler because that would be awesome, really. That would be the only good thing about this war. Yep, I got a free settler. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Well, I think at least this war is going to be good for something. How many more turns we have to stand this for? Six turns. Yeah, on six turns I can lose a bunch of units here, so... Ancient Wars in 7, okay, fuck it, I'm not going to keep doing that, just do your stuff. Um, hmm. I need units, and I need a trader as well, I need a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Movement force, press four. What, what is this guy? A debater, yeah. Wait a second, you. Can you do this already? Okay, 100 gold, that's nice. Uh, what is this guy doing then? Going all the way there, I think it makes sense. Uh, this guy needs to fix some stuff. Uh -huh. They are so far ahead of me, man. So far ahead. The good thing about not having Heidelberg is that, well, actually, eventually Egypt will take it. Egypt will totally take it. I think I have to conquer both German cities to have a chance. Yeah, I know I'm a warmonger. Stop telling me the obvious. Jeez, this game. Um, I'm not going to give you horses anymore. Well, we can do this. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, what did I lose? Crossbow and cro oh, one hit kill on two crossbows. Okay, that's interesting. So cavalry has a one hit kill on crossbows. Um, I didn't know that. That the single cavalry got a, had a one hit kill and upgraded crossbows. Oh, oh, more people are coming. They're going to take Berlin and Hamburg. Okay, this is the last video of this game, guys. I um, obviously lost, so this is what's going to happen. Okay, I don't have time to build walls on any of these cities, and I don't have time to build units that can 
deal with all of this cavalry stuff and this digger stuff. Um, if they had one hit kill on my units, that's it. In six turns, I can totally take both Berlin and Hamburg. There is no way I can defend this. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not having any fun at all since this game started. So I'm going to assume the defeat. Um, I'm disappointed with the new patch. Religious victory is not more doable than it was before. It's just uh, as difficult as it was before. You need a map like um, the one I got with the Indian game. If you on this same channel, you can see the Indian game. That's how you win a religious victory. You have to play on a small map, otherwise it will take forever. By the way, that one was a small map, and I used fractal map, so I got isolated start and so i didn't need an early rush and, and that's it that's how you do it okay so you can play also play an island map that's probably going to help you on a religious game island maps um yeah and small size because otherwise this takes uh, for fucking ever and and that's it that's how you do a religious victory just check the indian game uh it's all about getting an isolated start and then doing roughly what i did here um, usually if you can get four or five cities peacefully on an isolated start then you just need to conquer one guy you know four or five cities from from some enemy like i did here with germany only in this game i could only build two cities on my own i didn't have time for anything else so it didn't work uh, here and um, that's that's really it another option of course would be picking your enemies and then pick one of those nine leaders that don't go for religion, like uh, John Curtin, and I think Victoria doesn't go for religion, and Alexander, and Trajan, and a few more, I don't remember all the names, but you can Google it. And, uh, you know, play only with those guys, and then you can play a normal game and still get a religion. Um, otherwise, I see really no reason to go for a religious victory on this game, it's just... Uh, the game really wants you to do an early rush on every single game and that's another reason why this is the last Civilization 6 game I will do until I see a major change in the game mechanics because I'm really really bored of the early rush in Civilization 6 it's always the same and there is really no point I mean if you want to see how to do it just check my Domination games, you have one with Alex and one uh, with uh, Russia. The Russian game is with Theology, building units with Faith. The Alexander game is with Encampments, okay, and Great Generals and stuff like that. So you have two different styles for Domination games on Didi. And that's it. I'm going to give up here. I'm obviously going to lose both Hamburg and Berlin, or maybe not if the A is super, super bad on these six turns. I'm not going to lose them, but I will lose a bunch of units and eventually I will get attacked again and I'm so far behind that it's going to be a huge pain. And even without that, I don't think I can generate enough faith to convert all of these guys to my religion before someone gets a scientific victory. So, yeah, and then more, more important, to be honest, I'm just not having any fun, I'm sorry. Uh, I, don't, I don't play video games to not have fun. I think that's, that's ridiculous. I think you shouldn't do it, and I'm definitely not going to do it. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, We're going to take a break on this channel from Civilization VI. Uh, next game, I think I'm probably going to play, play Civilization I. Uh, yeah, Civilization 1 from 1991. I'm going to go ahead and play that. <laughs> uh, I think it would be fun. I don't know. It, it brings back a lot of memories. So, see you guys later. Bye.